Hey YouTube, so today we're going to be talking about a little DIY concrete slab setup. First of all, I want to thank my partners at DeWalt for sponsoring this video and a lot of the battery powered tools we'll be using today we just got from DeWalt. They sent us these tools to use to get slabs like this set up and make our jobs a lot easier. Now the first thing we do, first of all, this, this is at a golf course, okay? And they wanted to add on to this garage they just use for storage. So they just put in some crushed rock for a base and they want us to add about 20 feet out from this garage. It's about 28 feet wide. So that's what we're here to do today. today. And it's gonna, just gonna be a six inch slab. Well, yes, we're using two by sixes, they're five and a half inches, but as long as we get between five and a half to six and a half inches of concrete, they're gonna be happy. Now I'm setting up my self-leveling laser. I just got from DeWalt. Basically, you just put it on the tripod, try to get the tripod somewhat level, doesn't have to be perfect. Hit the, hit the on button and the laser self levels itself. Once it's level, it starts spinning and then I can use the receiver to go around and check my, right now I'm just checking my crushed rock grade. I wanna get an average of the levelness of the crushed rock. That way I know I can set my form six inches higher than the average of the sub base. So we get our, our forms laid out, we get them screwed together at length. You know, we got 20s on one side, 28 feet on this side. And then we go around with our tape measure and we mark out, you know, the exact dimensions, mark it on top of the board, and then we can screw the corners together. So Darren's measuring over right now, 28 feet, marking it, and then in 20 feet, put it in a mark, and then we screw it together just like what Luke's doing right now using, using that drill driver. Uh, we got from DeWalt. We always like to use uh, T25 screws, two and a half inch screws whenever we do our forms too. We just think it makes our job a lot easier. The, the screws seem to hold better than nails. And then to get our square, you know, we'll just go corner to corner diagonal and we'll look what we're looking for is the exact same dimension uh, from each diagonal. And then we know it's square with the building. And then, of course, we'll still eye it down the edges. Now, the, the original garage there, like, that wasn't perfect by all means. So they weren't too worried about it. But it's just the way we do our diagonals and our squares on all our slabs. And it seems to work perfectly every single time. And then we'll screw, unscrew in the corners. And we like to go in the middle of the form. That's just the way we like to keep things straight. And then we'll run a string. We'll attach a string to those screws on top of the forms. And that's what we use to go by when we start putting our pins in, you know, along the lengths of the slab to keep the forms nice and straight. You can see there's a little gap under the forms and there's places where there isn't a gap. That's pretty normal with sub bases. I mean, you're gonna have a little, a few ups and downs. Uh, you just gotta make it work. So after I got the average thickness of the sub base, I mean, the average level of the sub base, it was within about an inch, inch and a half and out of being level. I just take an average of that and I move my receiver down on the stick six inches, which raises the bottom of the stick six inches according to my laser level. And then that's what we're going to use to go by to set the tops of the forms. And there were places, you know, we found where the forms were a quarter to three eighths of an inch high. And then there were places where we, we have to lift the forms up to grade, you know, and screw it. We screw it right through those metal pins like Luke is doing right now. So Darren's holding the receiver with a grade stick. And once that receiver beeps out level, it has a straight line on it that tells you you're right where you need to be. Then Luke can come right behind him and screw the forms right to that grade. If we need to lift it up, Luke will lift it up a little bit. Darren will help him and then he'll screw it right when it lines out. It also has an up arrow and a down arrow on it. If you're too low, it tells you to, to raise it up. If you're too high, it tells you you need to go down. So that makes setting forms like this with a laser level really easy. Really, I mean, one guy could do it if he had to. We like doing it with two guys just makes it really fast. And we usually, there's usually two of us anyway when we're setting up forms like this. So the drill driver is key. We like, we really like using the drill driver whenever we're forming up slabs. The laser is definitely a key whenever we're setting up and pouring slabs. You'll see the pouring video to this 
um, coming up really, really soon. So if you're not a subscriber yet, you know, please subscribe to the channel and you'll get to see us pouring this slab and how we do that. Now, the people we're working for here today, we're actually, we're a subcontractor on this job. The people from the golf course hired the contractor we're working for, and then we do a ton of flat work for this contractor. So they just, they just say, hey, Mike, you know, we got this slab up here. Um, we need you to go set it up and pour it. Just get it done for us. They don't even ask me for a price. They just say, get it done. So that's what we're doing. So they dropped off the wire here for us. They dropped off the rebar. We just bring the forms and we do the forming part with our forms this was really heavy gauge wire this is crazy that was uh really good usually we use a little bit lighter gauge wire you can see luke's trying on these dewalt gloves those are actually my gloves he's trying on now we're going to tie a double row of rebar going around the outside of this slab and then we got that heavy gauge wire i actually think there is a little bit of light gauge wire mixed in with it up towards the building and we'll just we'll pull this up into the concrete now on this slab the, it worked out pretty good so we really didn't have to cut any wire to make it fit in the slab but on most slabs you know we're cutting either pieces in half or by length or whatever to get the the wire in there so i got all the rebar in we got it tied in using our wire ties and yo-yos slabs all set up set to grade now and we are ready to pour so again come on back see the pour guys and Thanks for watching.